No, you don't hear. Okay, this is my uh, no, uh, Lenovo Lot 5 booting up. And uh, I had a strange thing happen. I've been searching on it and couldn't find anything on it. A folder appeared on my desktop called update.test, but then it immediately deleted itself. Well, you could see it on the desktop, but you couldn't access it from anywhere. It didn't show up in Crusader. And it would, sh uh, when I clicked on it on the desktop, it would say the folder's not there. And uh, I've seen that a few other times with other things, but uh, you know, when I search for that sort of thing, all I could find is stuff information about Fedora normal updates. And so maybe, but I never did find any mention of the update.test folder. So, I, and with all the trouble, this is uh, 05. 15, 17, with all the trouble that we've had in the last few days with the uh, Windows machine being infected by, uh, you know, ransomware that's uh, encrypting the drives and everything, uh, you know that there are other things. There are some, some out there that can hit Linux, too. So I was like, oh, wow, what if that's something, I, you know, that had got on my machine from the Internet somehow, and it's trying to do that. And maybe it could work, maybe it couldn't, but... Uh, so I unplugged my, nothing's wrong with the machine, it's working perfectly, but I unplugged my back, I have a USB backup drive, and I thought, well, heck, I don't want it getting encrypted, so uh, I uh, unplugged it and rebooted to see what would happen, and uh, the other thing was I was in uh, looking and lucky back up the program that I used for backing up, and my backup, one of my backup uh, it ran today. I looked and it had already had run on the file. I, I could tell by the dates of the files, you know, that it ran when I booted up earlier. But uh, I have quite a few different backup um, scenarios in there, and none of them were selected. They need to be selected to run. And one of them that I had made a month or two ago was gone completely. Not unheard of. I have seen that happen before, I believe, if I remember right, with Lucky Backup, but uh, nothing, you know. Well, I never did know why it happened before, but uh, I haven't had any errors. I haven't had to do a hard shutdown or anything. So I'm gonna. I thought I would just do this. I thought, well, if I grab, I grabbed the phone and I started the machine rebooting before I grabbed the phone. I wasn't thinking, but uh, so I didn't get the whole boot sequence. And you probably can't read it anyway on the video, but you can probably see it well enough to kind of see if there's any like big red. There's one red error that's always been there. I uh, didn't see any others, um, but Ancorn, we're here, you know, we're not locked up or anything, so, but it makes you a little worried, you know, um, we're not one big thing, this is the biggest, they say it's the biggest hack ever happened, you know, this big ransomware attack, it's happened, I'm sure you've heard of it, but anyway, um, let me go ahead and get logged in and then see what's going on here, I don't know if I can do it with one hand or not, let's see. Uh, yeah, these goofy news people, most of them don't have a clue what they're reporting on. I've been studying computer security and, and operating systems for since 1998, and studying security since, well, since I'm sure about 2000 at least, when I started realizing you need to. <laughs> and uh, I've been running Linux since 2005, and... Uh, Anyway, they keep saying, oh, these people, they didn't update their Windows XP systems. Well, they're all enterprise systems, and they're all, they're still supported and updated for security updates till 2019. Not a single one website, TV report, internet report that I've seen has mentioned that. So I made my own little blog post on that, and I showed the ex Microsoft pages and everything as to where it shows how it works. But, uh, you know, they keep, they always do that. They talk about XP, like, the only thing they understand, you know, a home computer. Well, XP has, uh, is also runs on embedded systems. Once in a while they'll mention that, but they always say that they're not being updated, and they're absolutely, completely wrong. The only reason they wouldn't be updated is if the per the people, the admin, uh, IT people, were foolish enough to uh, turn off automatic updates. And who was going to do that in IT, you know? 
So yeah, home users will do that because we used to. Do, I I'd done it before because I got tired of them pushing updates that I didn't want. But then when the security uh, landscape got so bad, well, I turned it back on and just took whatever that Microsoft sent me. Yeah. But anyway, um, there I am, up and running, no problem. And my USB drive is not plugged in right now, so uh, it waits about 10 or 20 minutes before it does the update. Um, so I think before I do anything else, and that folder's not there, it was right there on my desktop. Let's see, let me make sure. I'm, I was looking just easily, it's out on the end past the trash folder. But let's see if, if it was still. I don't. I know it won't be there because it, it said it wasn't. It said it wasn't there. And it's really kind of a strange thing with Fedora 23 that it. Number one, that it puts all these folders on here that you don't actually. Any folder that doesn't have a dot in front of it that you create in your home directory goes, shows up on the desktop now. It didn't used to be that way, and I don't like this. And. Uh, it junk, junks up your desktop, but uh, that's why I have so many on there. <coughs> so, um, I don't see it. If you know if it was to put it in alphabetical order automatically, that's why I'm looking to make sure it didn't do that. PRSTU, no, no U folders whatsoever, so I'm not holding my phone very good, but. Um, I guess everything's fine, but there's two very odd things. That folder, I have seen other applications make temporary folders, and I believe I've seen that sort of behavior before. I have, I know I have in the recent, but <coughs> it said update dot uh, temp, or what did it say? Update dot something. Folders don't usually, aren't usually named dot, you know, so and so dot either, even with the pro when a program does that, could have been a program. It was probably a program that I have. I have several programs I've installed uh, that didn't come from the repos, and that would be the kind that would do that, like that uh, energy of from Texas Instruments and stuff like that. And I do. I did turn. I know I like that one in particular. I turned it on to try to update itself automatically. So it's probably something like that. But uh, that inner is called Energia. T I I D E Texas Instruments I D E that one right there that would probably be my f main one I would think might do something like that uh, I have seen a few other little programs especially like I said the ones that uh, they don't come in the repos the one that come from the Fedora repos I don't think I've ever seen them do anything like that but uh, well there is one thing that keeps happening there's a f program called Baloo. I actually forgot what it used to do, but I see all the time, and, I, and uh, as far as I remember, I, I uninstalled it because it wouldn't work, but it still, there was something left behind, and it kept putting the blue so-and-so text file on the desktop every once in a while. It was something that was supposed to monitor your system and help with something. I forgot what it was, but it wasn't working, wasn't doing what I expected. So I'm pretty sure I uninstalled it. I think I might have uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and uninstalled it again, if I remember right. That was a long time ago, though, maybe a year or two ago. So anyway, this is door 23, and I'm, I've been get I'm I've been uh, trying to get around to install Fedora 25, and they're just about to come out with Fedora 26. I haven't got that done yet, but anyway, um, and I did um, we have SE Linux on, you know, of course, on all Fedora systems, and I always leave it running because he wants some it's security Linux. That's what SE Linux stands for. And it does help. If, if anything out of the ordinary that you know it doesn't expect to happen, it will block it and then ask you if you want to leave it like that or uh, uh, you know tell, uh, run some commands. It'll tell you what commands to run to allow this to happen. And the only thing since 2016 that's been happening is the same thing. It's called fprintd, uh, and some something's trying to run a print command and it won't let it. I know it always happens when I open up uh, pack the package manager. Uh, I always just go to yum and then it'll go, it defaults back to DNF the new package manager. But uh, uh, it always does that when you uh, 
when it asks you to log in. So it's not actually, I don't think it's trying to print as into a printer, but I think it's the print screen command it's trying to run. The old print screen command. Um, so anyway, it uh, it blocks it, doesn't let it do it. And I believe it's a, well, I think it even says in there, if you look at it, it's a bug, you should report it. But for door 23, you can't, it's a, it, it past the end of life, so you can't report bugs on it. So, and it didn't start happening until after it was EOL as well, end of life, so. That's the only thing else that's happened, and that's been, I, I looked back and I saw that all of my other SC Linux notices were 2016, and that was the only one that's been happening in 2017. And it's like 400 some odd times, but it, you know, it doesn't do anything. And so um, at first I was kind of worried about it, but then I figured out, you know, it's just a bug that can't be fixed. So uh, anyway. Yeah, you get a system all built up with all the apps you like, you, it, it's hard to, uh, get yourself to want to start over you know which um, actually if this system wasn't full uh, I have Windows on it as well which uh, I'm gonna just reformat and get rid of that it's taking up too much space and it's not it's only a 250 gigabyte hard drive and uh, you know, I need the space because it uh, kept filling up and I have to kept deleting files so you know I can't really upgrade it you could it will work it'll happen if you wanted to do it but you can't do it because of space so so, what am I going to do? Let's see. Well, I want to figure out what the heck is going on with my lucky backup because I want to make sure the other set of backups that are supposed to automatically back up all my emails and everything, it's gone. So, uh, all I'm getting is my regular folders, you know, documents and pictures and videos and stuff. So, uh, that's glad I noticed that. If nothing else, that'd help me pay attention to that. But I, what I did, I went in there to look at Lucky Backup. I thought, okay, I'm going to run a backup before I reboot, just in case this freaking thing does have something on it that encrypts it when I reboot or something, you know. But, uh, uh, <coughs> so it didn't, but it, it <laughs> makes you really leery and a bit, uh, you know, you get a little worried when such, so much crap is happening, even though, even if you are fine, you know, you, it makes you a little worrisome. So, anyway, it's done. Bye bye.